Hello, everybody. Welcome back to not, uh, 2023 February Robin Hood Portfolio Update. Uh, right now is 6.02 Central Time. And today we got a lot of our earnings. And I'm going to go through most of them. I uh, think it's important. And I pick out some. Uh, so I, I would recommend you to go listen to their earning call as well. So that you can pick out a lot of uh, interesting uh, tips from the earnings call. Okay, uh, so let's go uh, with, uh, with the portfolio update. So one day today I'm down like two hundred dollars. At the this morning it was going up. I'm not really sure why, but toward the toward the closing everything was going down. Uh yeah. So one week up one thousand three hundred dollars. Uh one month uh up four thousand seven hundred, three month down seven thousand six hundred year to date. Uh, twenty five thousand one year, down hundred and five thousand. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, all time up uh seventy thousand. Okay, so today there were a lot of earnings. Okay, so you guys can listen to like earnings call. You can download this app and listen to like just type in which earnings call. Like most recent, I was just listening to the rocket rocket lab earning call to get some tidbits. They usually like uh, <coughs> allow the earning call from the official uh, with, uh, website within like two or three hours. I don't know, one or three hours. Yeah, they are away pretty quick. So that's just my opinion. You can listen to any like or let me see if they got version. Uh, Galate, yeah. So events, events. Oh, they 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 haven't. For them, Galate haven't. Uh, uploaded their recent earning call. So you have to go to their uh official official website to get the uh official uh earnings call. Okay, so just go to like Virgin Galactic, type in Google Virgin Galactic, IR. So invest the relations and go to like. Events page and you just you just see it, uh, how to listen to the uh, earnings call. Okay, so let's get on to the uh, let me show you my portfolio. You can take a look at it and we'll, uh, let's uh, talk about uh, Rivian's uh, earnings today. Okay, so it was uh, their guy uh, that was 25. Was it was it was it this one? Q4, yeah. Okay, so uh, the guidance was still pretty good, so they still uh, guiding for like uh, 50,000 uh, production, so that was my estimate as well. So as you can see, but the stock is like uh, tanking. Don't worry guys, I will show you the uh, my portfolio as well as I talk about it. So stock, so let's talk about Rivian first. What was going on with the stock? So the stock is not tanking, tanking pretty, pretty bad. Uh, because like they uh, uh they miss like analyst guidance, so analyst was expecting them to produce around like sixty and seven thousand vehicles, but they were only uh guiding for this year, uh only like fifty thousand vehicles, and plus like they they like uh projects that their they will have positive gross profit. Uh, on 2024 so that will be uh next year okay so and uh, their chaos is like going down as well they use last quarter i think they had 13 billion right now they have about, only have 11.5 uh billion excuse me okay what's what's like uh kind of worry me is that um their gross profit with the gross margin per vehicle did not uh, the gross margin did not improve much. You, if you like the like, like this quarter, this quarter their revenue is six hundred and thirty, sixty three million. But the cost to build those vehicles is um one point six six three billion billion dollars. So they lost a billion dollars. So divided by one six six three divided by six six three. Time and so that's about negative two hundred fifty 
percent. So you, you get two point five times it by one hundred to get a percentage. So be like negative two hundred fifty point eight two percent. So that was like no Im improvement on gross margin for each vehicle build from uh, last quarter. I think it was wasn't much work. It got worse. I don't know. I forgot. But I think. Uh, I remember it was still under two hundred percent range somewhere around that, so there was no improvement. So they like dramatically, dramatically cut back on research and development. Uh, they like last year they spent like seven twenty six million, but this quarter they only spent like four or two, and then and uh, selling and administrative expense also dramatically cut as well. So maybe because like uh of the probably because like stock based composition expense lower this quarter because um probably like CEO like um like the exec executive get the like bonus stock bonus for taking the um company public or some kind of uh performance based bonus or something like that so that's why the matter cut for. Uh, S G N A. Yeah, so that's basically like what I think about it. So I'm not really sure how they're gonna. My my thinking that how they're gonna become profitable is that their, I don't know how they do the accounting for their uh, cost of goods sold. Uh, if you know, let me know. Now I don't know how they do the accounting for the. For each vehicle they build, how they do the accounting today, like. Uh oh, right here, one point six six three billion today. And like I am depreciation and amortization for, uh, manufacturer equipment or, or supply costs. Like for the like, if this quarter night like, they only maybe use like, for example, use only, uh, five hundred parts, but they need to depreciate, one thousand car parts because they haven't used it but they only pay for it but i don't know how they calculate it yeah that's that'd be, that'd be interesting to know like how do they sometimes like uh, manufacturer or like for uh cost of revenue and i heard like some some people or like i am uh uh equipment like make like manufacturing equipment uh depreciation and amortization to it so that's why it looks so bad but i don't know how how does uh rivian do it okay yeah so yeah so probably they i don't know so probably that yeah so that's so that's rivian so they're still losing a lot of money though so let's see what's their free uh free cash flow Free cash for free cash flow means like how much cash they burned, uh, like how much cash took out of their bank account after every single everything interest expense everything expense included. So um, cannot find it. So let's just say probably around, uh, twenty twenty two. It's five billion. Wow. Net cash use on operating activities. Um, probably like around they're losing, uh, one point, uh, yeah, Russell right here. So net ca uh, net loss attributed to common shareholder. So this one took out, uh, stock based compensation. So that's not a cash expense. So. So probably yeah, they lost to like their bank account have one point almost one point six billion dollar less cash because stock based composition right here you should check that out. Excuse me, that's not a cash expense that is like stock dilution giving shares to employees. So they probably lost lost that one point six, which is a lot better than probably last quarter. But still pretty bad so yeah but i, I like their guidance fifty thousand this year i'm in line with my expectation so that's really good so let's uh, move on and talk about uh, rocket lab so um uh for like you can just take a look at it like 100 percent success rate on 2022 
and like there's and like most important thing to look at in my opinion their backlog grow like hundred percent and they're going trying to um oh uh, yeah right here trying to like uh make electron reusable by using only like a boat um complete recovery of electron just support design and procedural relation to enable to enable reusability so now they are ch like trying to see if they can recover the electron just by and uh, using the boat without using the helicopter i don't know that's what they are testing and so next recovery attempt is scheduled for first half of 2023 mm. yeah so yeah so right here impressed with the component and en engine testing so far from ocean and re recovery stage we are currently assessing whether electron recovery program can proceed with marine operation alone and potentially introduce significant savings so that's basically what it basically means and so right here so most important thing to look at for my opinion is uh, how their uh, neutron development is going so it look like it's going very well look at this picture they, they've been showing you a lot of hardware um, that's a uh, full scale composite tank and like um building like neutron development building and i think they are building like a launch pad on mississippi or something like that and already sir but uh so i have to listen to the earning call to get more um, perspective on the electron so like for rocket lab i usually don't don't like uh look at the earnings much because the, there isn't much of an earning to look at okay so so I just focus mainly just focus on how much money they lost this quarter and how much money they have until they get the neutron development going. So neutron is the most important vehicle. They um is supposed to be like operational by twenty twenty four. And my estimate like each launch will get them like fifty million dollars per launch or more. So that's really good. So the, uh on this presentation they haven't give you much of a financial uh so uh, yeah so that's so that's that so let's uh go look at virgin galactic okay so virgin galactic not much to look at as well so the um so just give you pictures um now they are pretty smart like raising um dilute the shareholder when the stock price was that was at all time high but right now it's not drop a lot, but they still have a lot of cash and the balance sheet. So late lot wow, holy crap. And lost like hundred and fifty one million this quarter. Wow, that's a lot of money. But they still got a lot of cash, like like um nine hundred eighty million. So so uh Q one next quarter they still expect to hunt lost hundred thirty five to hundred forty five million. Uh so still losing a lot of money so yeah so like free cash flow still losing free cash flow means like um how much money they uh use on the bank like include everything so free cash flow free cash flow is the most important number to look at in my opinion okay and i don't know when what oh for commercial space operation 2023 space mission and safety so i don't know when they're gonna launch properly like q1 q2 or q3 so i haven't listened to the earnings call yet but yeah so i don't really like this company much no offense but i don't i don't know the business model is for them to scale up like each person cost two hundred fifty thousand. Ten person, two point five million. So that is one launch. So it's gonna be like very hard to make one billion. So and then plus is it's very very dangerous. So I don't really like this stock much, but I was like buying into the hype for Virgin Galactic as well. So uh, Virgin Galactic, so I lost a little bit of money. Six hundred twenty-two dollars, but I so I think I sold out. 
because I, I don't like to start, I need to be a profit toward the 2021 November uh, $19. Right now it's uh, $5. So, okay, so the last company uh, we can look at is also reported earnings is um, iHeart Media. Okay, so why this company is interesting is let's um, listen to the earnings call as well. So a lot of uh, analysts will ask about the podcast section. Okay, right here. Even though like uh, the very revenue for the podcast. So if you download the iHeart Radio app, you can listen to podcasts. So I think that's the next frontier for battle frontier for like um, it's like the next like youtube and stuff so uh for, to be the next podcast platform so uh apple is doing it apple podcast spotify doing it spotify podcast amazon doing it amazon podcast and um, and iheart radio is doing it as well so this quarter they they were producing 113 million dollars on the podcast revenue but it did not grow much only grow like 16.7 percent so that's the main uh, thing i focus on for uh i heart media so um yeah so you can look at the uh, presentation as well they were it look like they're really good at what they are doing podcast most so listen to one million plus um, i heart radio number one top 10 number one um number one everything they do so like most download podcaster number one so i, I don't know if i don't know i'm not really sure if they're really number one if i don't know how they calculate it if they're competing against spotify spotify is really good as well so um what's uh, surprising so what's dangerous about this company is that they have a lot of debt i think it was like yeah right here five billion five uh, total debt net debt for about 5.4 billion dollar in debt so they need to pay that off and then the plus the interest rate is very high but another interesting thing interesting thing is their free cash flow um I wasn't expecting them to produce a free cash flow. So right here, uh, free cash flow. So this quarter, this quarter free cash flow is, yeah, hundred sixty five million dollars for iHeartRadio. So I don't know free cash flow. Like like I say, it means like after everything, how much money they take in or take out of their bank account and iHeartRadio made hundred sixty five million. So I, I really hope. Hopefully they use that to pay off their five billion dollar debt. So, okay, so that's enough of um looking around all kinds of companies, but yeah, so like biggest risk for iHeartRadio is their debt, and we just kind of keep an eye on their podcast section and see if it actually can compete with Spotify or uh or Apple Podcasts. So it's they are the like the king, the dominant player. I don't know if they can compete. It look like they are competing very well. Excuse me. So this some news came out for um big lots. So let's show you show you the whole thing. Okay. Um. So still drops. So yeah, like I say, um, if you listen to the earnings call of those companies, or Beyond Meat drops really bad. I don't know why. Um. Yeah, you will like pick up more interesting thing to, uh, to look at. So I don't know if you any of you actually listen to the earnings call. Uh, after this video, I'm gonna listen to the to the earnings call, and see if there are any more interesting topics. The first one I'm gonna listen to is probably Rivian. That's the most interest. Uh company oh yeah next store also announced earnings so the stock did not move much so i have i forgot to look at it let me see if if, if they got oh, no news okay so uh post this company yeah i think they release earnings as well so yeah there are a lot of earnings so i can probably listen to like two hours 
of three hours of earnings call today and i won't even get through everything <coughs> but i'm still doing doing door dash the whole night if i get door dash orders i just gonna draw everything and go doing door dash because put very profitable in my opinion just 10 or 15 minutes of work and make like eight dollars seven dollars so yeah so thank you so much for watching and today now i sold a uh, 11 one thousand dollar put option on Rivian to bet that it won't go down to 1150 if it does i have to buy like 100 shares if it don't i just make a dollar so i think it was a safe bet but and I, I, yeah i don't think tomorrow got draw to like 1150 if it does that's good for me and i want to buy a lemon anyway so that's basically the story so yeah thank you so much for watching so here's like for those you just started watching i started 2016 all time high uh 300,000. so yeah so and then it's thank you to the subscriber that uh subscribed today i got that right now have 521 subscribers and my goal is to have 525 by the end of the week uh if you want to help me out uh, that'd be great and and please like the video if you want to as well uh thank you so much for watching and i'll see you tomorrow okay thank you thank you